Okay, everyone, come on in, come on in. Jeannie Mai contesting the divorce. Okay, before I continue with my commentary, reaction, and opinion, I need for everyone to like this video, share this video. Most important, listen to this video. Yes, from beginning to end. This helps push my videos through the algorithm. Listen to it. Also, drop some comments. Let's up the engagement and hit the like. Like, 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 like. Sometimes my views are not matching my likes. My likes are not matching my views. So, that's kind of interesting too. So, but if you can help, help the mix out and like it, share this video, and listen to it, I would greatly appreciate it. It's free to do all of that. It's free. So let's talk about it. Yes. So, so many people are speculating as to why they are divorcing Jeannie Mai and Jeezy. And my apologies. I think I spelled Jeannie Mai's last name incorrectly. I think I said my apologies. I'm going to go back and try to correct that. Possibly in, um, in my community section. I think I post some things in my community section. But I stand correct. So, but yeah. Well, as I mentioned in my previous video, I am not surprised considering Jeezy's past relationship woes, you know, troubles. Not saying he can't evolve and do better and be better in the future or in other relationships with different people. No, I'm not saying that at all. But his book, you guys, that book he has out, in my opinion, speaks volumes. And I didn't read the book. As I mentioned before, I thought about purchasing it through Amazon and I'm probably going to do that. But in my opinion, just over the interviews that he's done, it points to trauma or obstacles that he's speaking to right now in the present sense. Like he's possibly dealing with some, and this is possible and based off of my opinion, you know, some mental health um, issues or, you know, concerns or challenges it what happened to him in the past, probably childhood, um, young adult years, and just having the struggle life. And so he decided to, you know, share his story with the world in print form. So far as contesting, let me go ahead and share this article I came across regarding the contesting part of the divorce. And then I'll come back with my, more of my commentary, reaction, and opinion. According to HipHopDX.com, Jeannie and Jeezy Mai reportedly divorcing due to different values. So, views and values. So, basically, that's what this article is citing. And I'm going to go over some excerpts from this article, HipHopDX.com. You could come on over here, go over the entire article in, your, in its entirety. So, basically, it seems like, you guys, it's views and values so far. This is speculation, nothing fact, because I haven't heard anything from Jeezy regarding this or Jeannie Mai. The only thing, in my opinion, that is speaking for Jeannie Mai is that she's contesting it. So she filed um, paperwork to contest the divorce. According to HipHopDX.com, Jeezy and Jeannie Mai shocked fans early this month with news of them ending their marriage and it's apparently because of a fundamental difference in their outlooks on life. According to Entertainment Tonight, a source close to Atlanta rap superstar and former co-host of The Real said that they didn't agree on certain family values and expectations. Different views and each felt like their needs weren't being completely met, the source said. According to court documents obtained by Hip Hop DX, Jeezy filed a petition for divorce to the Fulton County Superior Court in Georgia last week. The rapper said the marriage was irretrievably broken and mentioned the child he shares with the talk show host who was born in 2021. Jeezy was also, requ also requested that the court honor the terms of the prenuptial agreement with my which was signed before they got married. The parties entered into prenuptial agreements dated March 26, 2021, that was duly signed and executed by both petitioner and respondent and resolves all financial issues incident to this divorce. The prenuptial agreement should be enforced and the terms set forth therein made the final order of this court reads the document. So basically what that is saying is that Jeezy wants the prenuptial agreement to be honored, but we all know. <laughs> I don't care if you sign a prenup, postnup, whatever nup. It, it seems like how the legal system is working nowadays <laughs> is that 
anything contractual still can be challenged. So, you know, we've seen that in the past with other divorce examples. So, but nevertheless, and I think it's reasonable in terms of joint custody. He's um, pushing for that. So I think in my opinion, that's reasonable if he is available uh, most of the time. But let's go ahead and continue. My posted a heart melts clip to Instagram earlier this month as her daughter Monaco repeated along to show love to Daddy Jeezy on the latest achievement surrounding his adversity for this. Yeah, this is the name of the book, you guys. Adversity for Sale. You gotta believe memoir. So yeah, this is that's the name of his book, Adversity for Sale. You gotta believe memoir. Okay, you guys. So what are your thoughts? Basically, the article just went over course the um, divorce I was initiated but according to reports etc that um, Jeannie Mai is contesting the divorce based on different you know views and value according to sources or whatever okay so what does this mean well contesting you guys could possibly be about the joint custody or the prenup and I'm just speculating at this point so in my opinion it's possibly about that the prenup and now there's a child involved if Jeezy is is on the road or it's not as present and available um Jeannie Mai is probably like no there's no need for joint custody she's probably also too according to that article the title of that article it says they are it's alleged that they are divorcing due to different views and uh, values perhaps Jeannie Mai wants to make certain decisions if there is a conflict of views and values maybe Jeannie Mai wants to have authority over that and not the father because of the differences so I don't know and this is all speculation I'm just you know kind of playing a devil's advocate here as to the possibilities of why she's contesting the divorce again it could be because of the prenup it could be child custody it could be plethora of things or it could be just a few you know so what I do know is I'm um, contesting it cost <laughs> so now they're dry about to rack up some attorney fees because when it's a clear cut and dry and I know this because and you can google this fact check me if you need to but I'm aware of this because I'm in this field of study and um over 20 plus years and I've dealt with contested situations court wise due to my background so with contesting it costs if it's uncontested it's straight cut dry you know it's everything is that means all parties agree everyone is involved it's not contesting it but when you get into a contest you're starting to rack up attorney fees so hopefully this doesn't get ugly but it looks like it the heat is turning up on this divorce because Jeannie Mai is like ah uh, absolutely not so but like I said it could be just a simple thing of her wanting full custody as opposed to Jeezy wanting joint custody and I'm not making it to be like a minor thing in terms of I'm using saying that it could be a small thing because it's something obviously big to Jeezy so I don't want to lure that in that sense because child custody is huge and is important especially what parents are responsible active present and all of that so but I'm just basically saying particular issue it could possibly be the only issue that she has in terms of contesting and so yeah now, attorney fees are starting to rake up and it would be interesting to see how far this goes hopefully all is fair and love and war because that's what pretty much a divorce is and at this point it's not a cut clean cut dry divorce it's being contested so uh, best of luck to them in that space of contesting because the courts and the attorneys win financially. So, ugh, sheesh, I hope they can work it out. Go ahead and focus back on Jeannie Mai. Um, in a sense, I know before I was speaking about Jeezy, um, real name is Jay Jenkins, his government name, about his past and discretions or problems he's had. And I mentioned that too in my last video. So, I will post that link in the description section of this video as well. But on to Jeannie Mai. She's not clean as well. Um, okay, let's talk about her. Her background. She's divorced and she was married to a Caucasian man. And she's made comments before about, I guess, the, her preference in who she marries or dates. And let me go ahead and share that clip with you guys and then come back with more of my commentary reaction. Side butt. But for me, dark meat on the side, white keeps me mean and lean. You know, that's why I <laughs> married white man. That's what I like. Calm out. What do you mean, dark meat? I, oh, she likes. 
Okay, you guys, you heard Jenny Mai. She likes dark meats on the side. <laughs> you see Lonnie, Lonnie Love was like, what? So a lot of people is bringing that clip back up. And that was when she was on the show, The Real, that particular clip. What are your thoughts about that? Based off of that, based off of Jeannie being divorced from, you know, this would be her second marriage, so meaning second divorce. I think the writing was on the wall. And as I said in my previous video, I was not sold on them. It just seemed very fakish to me. Just their whole, how they enforce. It's just, this is just, just my opinion. And so with that being said, perhaps this marriage was doomed from the beginning. You know, all the flags and signs were there for both in exchange so i honestly in my opinion i still think that this marriage helped jeezy in a sense in terms of opening doors in a certain space media wise from a more less than hip-hop status he's more a different level the imagery and all of that and not reverting back to as far as image wise as the trap rapper or as the snowman rapper which he's rapped about and those who know what snowman and trap rapping is you know you know or those who don't know google it you know it gets more so into street life street life and probably stories that tell illegal acts in regarding street life so but back to them both i do believe this was doomed from the beginning and as far as genie my I just think she was still blindsided by this, all of this. And I, and what I read too is that she went against some of her values and she's compromised greatly in their marriage based off of reports that I've read. And I think she's feeling some kind of way. So she's fighting at this point. She's fighting and she's probably a little bitter. She probably is. But as I said before, what makes her any different from the other females that Jeezy was with, you know, broken homes. They probably cried the same tears when Jeezy left them and their kids. So also to Jeannie Mai, I've read, she referred to her ex-husband at one point and when she got with Jeezy and all of this and everybody was putting him on pedestals and same couple goals and I don't say that about none of these people. Even Sierra and I like her and Russell together, but nothing is ever perfect and everyone lives life, have relationships life be lifey for everyone so no one is perfect no one's situation is ever perfect i don't care what imagery imagery you see across your phone or television screen no no one's life is perfect but Jeannie mai to my understanding referred to her previous caucasian husband as a mitch and that's like bitch a bitch man so yeah so she Jeannie mai the milk is not clean when it comes to her as well. Something in the milk is not clean as well. And meaning, you know, she is not above reproach and she's had a past too. Hence, second marriage. Hence, second divorce. So, and I think she came from a trouble well, well, as well. Upbringing. Upbringing. And to and my understanding, to my understanding, that her reports that her is kind of like overbearing. Kind of like overbearing. And she's, and she's there in the mix. There in the mix. And, and I don't think, and I don't think Jeezy was Jeezy was rocking with all of that. rocking and with this all of that. Just, and this is again just what I've read based on reports, based on speculation. So it's not fact. It's not fact. It's not fact. It's, it's, not, fact. it's, it's not, not fact. It's all alleged. alleged. It's all alleged. <laughs> until until we hear from the horse's, we hear from mouth, the horse's mouth, mouth or Jeezy mind. or Jeannie Mai. And if they ever want, and if they ever want, they don't have to. They don't have to. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? The divorce is heating up, guys. I'm going to run a poll in the community section. Have other polls going on. So head on over there. Votes, vote, votes, vote, votes. Um, what do you think the Jeannie Mai is possibly contesting in the divorce? Do you think it's the prenup? Do you think it's custody? Again, the custody, to my to my understanding, Jeezy wants joint custody. Jeannie Mai just probably want full custody because we, we never know. And she might know, too, if Jeezy is presently available, involved, hands-on. And th this is Jeannie Mai's first child. So I see her being pretty anal so to speak as to how she wants to raise her child pretty structured pretty driven by that so if Jeezy is constantly doing business type of ventures and not presently available in the physical Jeannie Mai probably was like oh no absolutely not you're not getting joint custody because that would defeat the purpose you're not presently available and then 
her views and values may play a part too as to and this is all speculation as to why she probably don't want joint custody but let me know what you guys think drop it in the comment section do you think she's contesting the prenup and joint custody or both or probably probably something else but all i know again as i stated before contesting a divorce costs so now attorney fees court fees is about to start racking up so who's going to be left with that bill <laughs> because a clean cut uncontested divorce is is what it is clean cut uncontested no additional fees everybody go, all parties agree to what's on the paper and everybody goes their separate way and voila but yeah so like share subscribe thank you guys for supporting my channel i appreciate you all get great to later I am enjoying this content creation space and I can't wait to unveil so many different things in the future I'm on my channel and just evolve and kick it up some notches. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.